What's up everyone? This is Ed Talenti. How are you guys doing? Today we're doing something brave. Uh, I'm, I downloaded FL Studio Mobile. Uh, I'm not, I don't use FL Studio in general, I use Ableton, but I wanted to try this app for the longest time. It's only like 15 bucks and apparently you can do a lot with it. So yeah, I imported some sounds, I imported some melodies. We're gonna try to make a beat out of it and hopefully it comes out decent. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. I'm excited for this one. Let's get right into it. Um, I just spent like 20 minutes maybe trying to figure out the basic controls of uh, FL Studio Mobile and I imported a melody from my, from my loop pack, from my melody pack and we're just gonna try to build a beat. I just threw in some, some drum sounds, uh, a couple 808s, just some sounds that I generally use uh, just so I can have you know my own sounds and not the stock ones. Yeah, let's do it. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be weird and crazy. All right, so here's the melody that we're gonna be working with. All right, you get it. So since we have the melody kind of like already in place, uh, let's start building some drums first, and then we'll go from there. To build some drums, I'm gonna do plus, I'm gonna do drum sequencer, right, and then I'm gonna do my samples. Okay, let's get a good kick drum going here. Let's try one of these. Maybe this one. Let's get a snare going or a clap maybe. Uh, yeah, let's put down kick and clap to start with so we can see what we're doing. Man, this is so weird to work on a phone. It's not bad though. This program, I mean, you can do a lot with this thing. All right, now we're cooking, now we're cooking. All right, let's add some hi-hats. All right, let's add a couple more percussions. Man, this is so hard. It's like I have to start over. It's like I have to relearn how to use everything. This is crazy. Because of the way I'm coming out of the phone, everything is in mono right now, so that's kind of a problem, but the groove is kind of getting there. I'm gonna add another percussion. We're getting, we're getting something cooking here. Let's add one more percussion. All right, this is getting pretty good. Uh, this is so hard, but like I can see if I spend some time on this, you can actually do a lot, man. Uh, they have like all the effects, like it's crazy. I think I paid like 15 bucks for this, so it's like there's a lot that you can do. If you especially import your own sounds, um, I can totally see myself on a plane or a bus or something uh, totally making beats on this. It's way better than any other app I've ever tried. This is pretty cool. Let's try to add another melody. I don't know if it needs it, but just because, you know, we wanna try. I wanna see what kind of instruments they have in here. So let's try to add like a counter melody of some sort. I'm gonna do a oh boy. What is this? Uh, direct wave, is that what I'm looking for? Let's see what's in voices. Can I not listen to the sound? Nah, that's pretty awful. Wait, so I can't listen to the sound while I'm picking it? That's gonna take me forever. What do I do now? <laughs> undo, 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 undo. Damn it, how do I pick the different sound? I just want the piano. Is there a piano in here? Okay, this is the problem. The fact that you click on sounds and you can't hear what they sound like, that's really annoying. Uh, so I'm just gonna just try. I'm just gonna go with grand piano, see what that sounds like. Pretty awful. Let's use it though. There it is. Yeah. So what if I wanna put it an octave lower? Can I just... Yeah! That's so frustrating. Okay, I'll just do it like that. Yo, this gives me anxiety though. I'm not gonna lie, this gives me a lot of anxiety. Just like going in and clicking on the little tiny screen makes me miss my keyboard, makes me miss my mouse. This is definitely like, it's really cool that you can do it. You can build like a MIDI clip on this and like, you can technically do anything. Like, you know, you can drag notes around, you can make whatever you want. It just, it just gives me anxiety a little bit. I'm not gonna lie about that. That sounds pretty awful right now. What can I do to make it better? 
All right, I'm scrapping the piano. This is not working out. All right, since I don't have all day to just click around on this app, um, I'm gonna add 808 right now, and then, then we'll see where we're at. Let's put down the 808. I think I'm basically done. I wanted to figure out if I can do slides. Um, let's see. How do I go into the instrument settings? There we go. Slide time. There it is. All right, we're done. I'm going to make a quick arrangement and a little bit of slight mixing and I'll show you what I've got. Teleport to the future now. And we're back. So I did a super quick arrangement. I have the intro, I have my tag and I have the drop and that's about it. So, yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Let's listen to it. my very first time using the app so I'm pretty happy with the result I can see if like I got a little bit faster with it and I understood some of the mechanics a little bit more I can see how this can be like a really helpful tool actually uh, whenever I'm out of the house whenever I just feel like getting that beat out but I don't have my stuff around uh, this could be really really cool I definitely plan on getting into this app a little bit more uh, in the future for sure if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell I post videos consistently like every other day and I post all kinds of stuff so yeah, thank you for your support. Also, if you want to hit me up directly, if you just want to say hi, if you have a question, whatever it is, Instagram is the best place to do it. Just shoot me a DM and as soon as I can, I will respond. All right, this video was super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you next time. And as always, be positive and positive things will happen.